Hello everyone, welcome to Intrinsic Archives. My name is Verlaine, but you can call me V. If you are new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. In this channel, we do beauty discussions and lots of commentary. So if you like what you see and you wanna see more, go ahead and like and comment down below. If you're feeling the vibe, go ahead and subscribe, show your girl some love, and don't forget to follow me on my social media, Coffee Bean V. It's always a fun time over there. Now today, we are going to be talking about the cheating allegations against Ken and Deara. Now, there has been footage that has leaked all over social media, Instagram and Twitter, of Ken allegedly cheating on Deara. In the video, it shows him basically hugged up and touching up on a girl that is clearly not Deara. And I'll definitely insert that video down below. Now, it has already been confirmed by Ken's brother that that is Ken in the video. So technically we already got a confirmation that it is Ken. It is no longer a mystery whether or not it is or it isn't him. Um, but right now I feel like this is almost a deeper thing. I want to have a deeper discussion in regards to YouTube couples or relationship couples and the term relationship goals. Now, it is no secret that a lot of people tend to idolize couples in the limelight, especially celebrities. And with the rise of social media and YouTube, relationship couples is really at an all time high. And to the point where you see people constantly comparing their own relationship to these individuals on social media, saying, oh, their relationship goals, or I want Instagram or relationship goals. If my man isn't doing what he's doing, I don't want him, so on and so forth. And we've seen it time after time after time again that what is on social media isn't always real life. Now, in regards to the Ken and Deara situation, this is not the first time that their relationship has been put on the limelight in regards to Ken's cheating. Oh, I am a viewer. I am a watcher of Deara and Ken. They are the OG couple, as you will. They are the OG Instagram or YouTube couple, the unproblematic couple. So the first time this had happened, girl, I was shook. I was shook. I was scared, quaking in my boots. I was like, no, we were rooting for you. I don't understand what's going on. And of course I had watched the video and I had gone through the evidence like everyone else and everyone basically had made their determination whether or not they believed the story that Deere and Ken were putting out, the narrative that this girl was lying. Now, personally for me, I definitely was side eyeing, but I did give them the benefit of the doubt. I was like, you know what, they're coming out. I love this couple. They seem so unproblematic. I love the way they are portrayed on social media. They seem like two good folks. I'm just gonna give the benefit of the doubt and believe their story and hope for the best. Now, a couple years later, here we are, 2020, and there is another cheating allegation. So clearly there is a cycle happening. All I gotta say is, if he's cheating on you, when y'all boyfriend and girlfriend, if he's cheating on you when you have a ring on your finger, marriage will not change it. What makes you think that marriage will keep him faithful? If he's cheating on you then, he's going to cheat on you now and he's going to cheat on you in the future. And that's what people need to realize. Marriage does not fix problems that are in the relationship. If your relationship is toxic, marriage will not change that. It will only all it will only amplify that situation. People need to realize is that we don't know these folks behind closed doors. There has been countless times, even on YouTube, where couples have come out who are married, who are divorced now, or who are only staying together in their, and you can see in their videos that they're only staying together for the views, for the likes, for their families, um, or because they have created some type of empire with each other. They have created a business with each other and it's kind of too deep in now to leave, even though he's cheating, lying, disrespecting you all over social media. Now, nobody is perfect. No relationship is perfect. No matter how many times you think that they are just the ultimate goals and they seem flawless, they are going through some mess or some struggles behind closed doors. And that's what people need to constantly understand. Nobody is perfect. Very rarely do you ever see someone air out their dirty laundry or 
they are showing the fights, the tears, the struggles that's happening behind closed doors. No sane person is gonna do it. We need to stop idolizing these couples because at the end of the day, they are regular ass folk like you and I. Though they may have a bigger bank account, I don't care how many followers you have, I don't care how big your bank account is or the number in your bank account, they are going through the same ghetto ass mess we are going through. They're going through the same cheating mess, they're going through the same struggles as we are. So we need to stop putting them on a pedestal of perfection or putting them on a pedestal of they are the ultimate goals. Because at the end of the day, these relationship goals aren't real. These expectations that we are putting don't exist to the fullest degree of what we think it is. Now, I definitely want to hear your guys' opinions and thoughts. Do you believe that Ken was cheating? Do you guys think that Diara should leave him? I want to hear everyone's comments and, and thoughts down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.